Heyo, lookies, Andy Lippy here, back with another Twitch video. Well, I don't do too many Twitch videos, but this one is all about all them hate raids and all the cheeky little privileges that Twitch has recently added. Some really good stuff here, so let's just get into it. Put your rock of the stone, let's go. So hopefully you guys have seen this article that Twitch has actually made about securing your chat with phone and email verification. You can read the full article just here. I will put a link in the description, but I'm gonna kind of show you what it looks like from your end as a creator. So jumping into your Twitch channel dashboard just here, on the left hand side, you'll see the settings menu. Go to settings and go down to moderation. And in here, if we go a little bit down, you'll have this brand new section of uh, chat verification just here. So as you can see, um, so what protected? Uh, we've got email verification. So we've got all chatters must have a verified email. So nobody can talk in your Twitch chat unless they have physically verified their email address. I mean, it's super easy to do. They'll get a little message if they haven't. They'll be saying, you cannot talk in this chat right now because you need to verify your email and it'll run through the steps for you. But you've got there's some different little situations that you can change here. So we can say some chatters have a verified email. So first time chatters, so anybody brand new to your stream, they cannot chat without verifying their email. So we don't want to kind of cause problems for anybody that has been following you for a while but they might not have their uh, email verified. So this is how you can get around that. You've got chatters without a verified email with accounts older than a week. So if somebody's just created an account within say the last hour, they can't harass you or anything like that. So a really nice little feature there. So you can tweak this to however you want. I like to leave my email verification for everybody. It just means that if you can't chat, well, just verify your email. It takes two seconds. There's no effort involved at all. So I like to leave that one on personally, but everyone's gonna be different depending on the size of your audience potentially, or there's a lot of various things that people want. And we've also got phone verification. So this one's awesome. Exactly the same as email, but they need to have a mobile number that can deal with SMS messages because they're gonna get a code to say, cool, we're verified. You are a person, not a bot, hopefully. Obviously, with bots, it's not always 100%. Like, we always make these little things and deterrents, but people always get around it. But this is huge, this one. So verification for phone, again, similar to uh, what we had before, we've got all chatters. So everybody's got to verify using their phone before they can talk in your chat. But then this is where you can do some of some of the chatters and say, oh, first I maybe you want to do the whole like, somebody's got to be like, do you know what I mean? They can't just make an account that's a day old and then just start spamming your chat. That's the sort of stuff that you want to put on there. So depending on how many kind of haters or hate raids and things like that that you guys are getting, I've only ever had one and Waldo and Silver dealt with it very, very well actually. It was during a very long stream, 30 hours and yeah, it was a bit of a mess but shout out to them guys for sorting that out because my brain was not working. You can also do some exemptions as well. So if your your subscribers, VIPs and moderators, if they're not verified, then you can actually exclude them from that verification process, which again is awesome because let's face it, some people don't like to verify their email. Do you know what I mean? You want to stay anonymous online. We don't want people getting all our data. So you've got to see it from both ends. Yes, this is going to protect you but it might not necessarily be the best thing for your audience. So make sure you do tweak them settings a little bit. Otherwise you might be in a little bit of a, uh, you don't wanna be like telling people to, to get out. Do you know what I mean? You, you wanna be friendly to your community. Uh, hopefully that has helped you guys a little bit. Cause I know a lot of you have been receiving a lot of hate raids and everything like that. And there are other ways that you protect yourself. I'm gonna do a video on Biku Bot because Bikuta has added a little hate raid protection system, which is really, really nice. There's a load of things that are going on and people trying to stop it from happening, which I think is awesome. It's great that they're giving us this ability to innovate <laughs> around hate raids and things like that because it just makes us want to get better as streamers and look after our communities, right? Am I right? 
Let me know what you guys think to the new chat verification process and whether or not you're going to be using it or how you're going to be setting it up. Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. If you want to support me, then consider joining Patreon or the channel members down below. All that jazz, you know how it is. All right, put your rock in the stone. I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.